Yeah. Okay. So um, if you want to see the full video of the Owen Brislan, it's at patreon.com forward slash our game. You get uh, Colm Spillane and Eddie Brennan as well on there. We wanted to talk about the top five hurlers, the top five youngsters in hurling at the moment. And do you know what? As we ever like to do, we're going to bring it up on screen and do a bit of a ranking. So, But we do expect uh, the viewers to get involved as they tend to do and let us know who do they think the best youngsters are in the country at the moment and who should be in the top five in this list. Uh, anyone that you're thinking cannot be left out of this? Uh, can't be left off the top. Will we just will we fly through a few different counties and just see what what we're working off here? Yeah. Okay. So, like, you you have your finger on the pulse in the scene in Dublin. Um, who who are we talking here? Like, say Paddy Doyle. Uh, who else are we talking? Yeah, Paddy Doyle. Like, he's he's very young, but you can and like I watched him last weekend in a few challenge matches. But you can see straight away he's able to get out in front. He's able to win ball. Yeah, I mean he's young and inexperienced, so now and again he gifts it away or does something a little bit rash. But very very good. And I've seen him with uh, DCU as well. He's excellent. Dara Purcell, who uh, I managed with the UCD Freshers last year, and he's player, been very yeah. good with Crokes. Excellent player. Only came on the other day against Antrim and uh, quite late on, so he didn't really. Um, he didn't really make an impact. Dermot O'Dooling, who also didn't come on the other day, I saw him even in the Walsh Cup against Galway, and just the two or three balls that he was given in, he just looks like an electric player. So He's still Dublin, in Nave Owen. He played in the Leinster College semi-final for Nave Owen against against Cairns. Like that's how that's how young he is. Like a real precocious talent. Yeah. Then in Kilkenny, Billy Drennan's the obvious one, but Park Moyle and maybe Garo Dunn. I'd be interested to see if he gets more game time. Killian Doyle, Ian Byrne, Aidan Tallis. Uh, anyone from other counties that you're thinking of off the top of your head? Yeah, probably. Like, if you're looking at, I think it's funny, you know, as good as Limerick are and, you know, how the, the same, it's largely been the same personnel, 18 or 19, that will come in. It definitely is a big freshness to their squad this year, isn't there? Like, if you look at mm. the young talent that's, that's in there now, maybe that wasn't there before, Dunnick O'Dolig would be one. Um, he obviously got a goal the other night. He came on and got a point, didn't he, against Cork bringing his more lean form, obviously managed by Owen Brislan and the lads, bringing that straight to county. Um, like, I th thought for a young fella, Shane O'Brien was really able to handle himself the other night. Like, when he fills out, like, he's going to be some bull of a man. He's fairly really filled out as it is. Yeah, but like, he's but naturally, like you'd say, when he gets to 23 or something like that, like, he could be an absolute tank. Like, he could be impossible to handle. Um, Adam English is another one. I really liked, uh, I really liked his role the other night. He's a, to me like he's a ball player, and yes, he's a very good forward. But he was able to find space the other night, and he was able to work really, really hard in that engine room. I'd say he wasn't probably an option that John Kiley had thought of for in around there. And needs well, he didn't get on the ball against Cork either when he was waiting on the inside looking for yeah. ball to come in. So I'd say he enjoyed being out in the thick of it. Oh, he did, yeah, and he he excelled, and obviously delivered that brilliant pass to Odali for his goal. Fergal O'Connor went off with a, a head knock the other day. Um, I think he's a really exciting player. He was obviously full back for the twenties last year. Day before on a Limerick on a Limerick side, how much game time does he? They probably won't see as much maybe in another county just because of how competitive it is. But like if we fly down through Munster, like in Waterford as well. Um, By the way, to, sorry, yeah. just just before I jump on, Richard Hogan says, "How young? Under 20. Well, it's players who are probably under the age of 21, 22, who haven't really made an impact. And I'd say in terms of our rankings, we'll be like, which players will actually be making a serious uh, impact this weekend? So, for example, you might have Shane O'Brien as or Adam English as number one in some respects, but will they necessarily be playing this year? So they might drop down the ranking because we mightn't necessarily think they'll, they'll start. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, you don't, you kind of have to, there's a bit of looking into the future era, how much game time they'll actually get. Um, yeah. From from a Cork point of view, obviously, uh, Sean Toomey got two goals the other day. Uh, Owen Downey looks like he's, you know, <laughs> looks like he's already made full back almost. Um, Pat Ryan, we kind of asked him, like, is it a sense of throwing Owen Downey into the deep end? And he said, no, he said he was called into the under-20s while, while still a minor, and if he'd been... I think he was ineligible to play, but he, if he'd been eligible to play, they would have played him. Ben O'Connor is another one. We don't really know what he's doing yet or what his future holds, but he's like, if if you knew he was going to be in with Cork, he'd definitely be in my top five. We just don't, we just don't know yet. And he's obviously playing. I think he's playing senior schools uh, rugby in uh, in Cork this year as well. And Fenton mentioned it on the show the other day. Like I think we're there's a fair potential we could have a problem uh, as journalists and even as supporters in years to come with Parik Fitzgerald and Patrick Fitzgerald in Waterford. Um, 
I'm just trying to think, is there any sort of a name you can come up for them? Um, you know, the, the, I'm kind of making a, a little link on their name or something to do with, you remember they had the terrible twins in Galway and even with John Armstrong and Michael Meehan when they went under 21 as well. Just thinking, is there some uh, fits, fits and starts or something? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what yeah, to look at. Yeah, it's not a decent first effort. Did you mention Ruben Haller and he's another lad who could yeah. make an impact this year? John Campion with Tip, maybe Ree Shelley, but uh, Barry Hogan will obviously be batting it out for number one jersey there. In Clare, Davy Conroy is a guy who scored five points against Westmead. I suppose a lot of their younger players struggled against Limerick. Uh, Jack Gallagher, you were mentioning in Westmead. Oshin Salmon, I know he got red carded the other day, but obviously Henry Shefflin likes to cut to his jib. Um, so Brian O'Mara from Tip, outstanding UL and a natural centre back. Now, to be fair, if he does make an impact this year, like he is a young, he is a pretty young player, but he's probably just slightly too old. I think I think he's probably about twenty four at this stage, but it would be his breakout year, actually. Yeah, I I think I don't know. Do we need to jig it a small bit? Maybe lads that haven't made an impact at county level yet, or maybe it's just a, like is this this is first year in a county senior squad. No, no, no. So he was in the the panel previously. He was there last okay. year. Sorry, last year he opted out altogether. The year before. He played league for Tip, and then he broke his arm, which probably, you know, kind of ruined his chances. So uh, I'd say he's probably about 24 at this stage. That'd be my guess. Yeah, he was an All Ireland minor winner in 2016, so that that would suggest he's 23 or 24. Yeah. So in some ways he fits this, but in other ways he doesn't. Whereas I'd be more looking at John Campion because he's 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 quite young. I think he'd be more suited to this conversation. Yeah, I think you're probably looking at. In or around under twenty, and guys that haven't, you know, really played county at all yet up until this point. And are we like if we're looking at uh, if we're looking at you know this top five? Who are we think like Mike Mike Hula and I don't think would fit in this conversation. No, 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 no. Patrick Coleman no, mentioned. No. Yeah, no, yeah. he wouldn't. In fairness. So um, I would say that Sean Toomey is somebody that would be high up on the list, and I'd say. Porrick Fitzgerald seems to be getting a little bit more game time than Patrick Fitzgerald at the moment. In time, though, who do you think is going to see more game time? Probably Porrick, yeah. Porrick over Patrick? Wait, no. I confused him there. Patrick, yeah. The Valley Gunner <laughs> Um, If you're looking at guys that are definitely going to be in the five, like in no particular order at the moment, I definitely have Patrick Fitzgerald in there. Um, Billy Drennan will definitely be playing for Kilkenny this year, will he? Billy, Billy Drennan will play for Kilkenny, yeah, without a doubt. Um, Paddy Owen, Doyle, I think, will definitely play for Dublin. I think going down, he definitely deserves to be in there too. And you know, which of the, you know, Shane O'Brien will play for Limerick this year. Don't know if he'll hmm. start a championship game, but he'll definitely play. I'd probably have Shane O'Brien uh, slightly ahead of Adam English, if I'm honest. It's an interesting one. Like, we've left Cahill O'Neill out of this because he's already kind of made an impact already. Yeah. And we, yeah, surely both Kevin and Mikey Mahoney get game time at Watford, but um, I'm not entirely sure how old Mikey is, but I think Kevin is probably 22 or 3, is he? Yeah, I did be just a bit beyond the, the threshold, I'd say, as well. I'd say. Yeah. Okay, so who do you think is most likely to make a big impact this year? I would say Billy Drennan. Well, it's like this. You're probably, you're, I'd say he's a guaranteed starter. Um, well, is he guaranteed either? Well, I think so. Okay, I'm going to throw him in as number one just as a ho as a holder there for the moment, a placeholder. Like, if you're to pick that, that Kikenny forward line this year, right, so you're going to have Adrian Mullen. Now, he might actually be midfield, and they might actually move him out there to accommodate. But So he'll be, he'll be playing TJ, uh, on Cody, uh, who else would be starting in that forward line? Mossy Wal Keown. You could have Walter, you could have Mossy Keown, you could have, who else are we talking here? You could have Richie mm -hmm. Hogan, potentially. You could have John Donnelly, potentially. Billy Ryan is in the conversation. Keen Kenny, although he might go back out midfield. Hmm. Yeah. Um, will Billy start? Like, do they have that type of inside forward? I'd say he probably will start. Now, Nicky Brennan was on the show a couple of weeks ago. And kind of said that he thinks that maybe he'll need to be uh, around the squad for a bit longer, and kind of pointed to the fact that he plays he's playing junior club hurling that he need you know time to be exposed to that level. So, like I put it this way, Shane, what like he's he's best not like one of his best attributes is probably free taking at the moment. There's no point in saying any different. Like they have 
probably the best free taker in the country. So does that take? What's he? Is he going to be able to contribute enough? What, Jason Ford is going to kick any. <laughs> I uh, do you think so? I think joke. <laughs> it's a good conversation. We keep that conversation yeah. for another day. Yeah. Um, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder then when push when push comes to shove, will Billy start come summer? Mm, I'm not so sure. I'd say he will. Um, I know not uh, Liam McCarthy, but Screeny with Offaly will be a huge success this year. Adam Screeny is surely too young, is he? Oh yeah, I know he won't. He won't. He won't be near. Uh, he won't be near a county senior squad anyway. They're actually an interesting one. Kalash and Ave Cormac are playing St Brendan's Burr in the college's B final tomorrow, and to the my, best of my knowledge, it's the first time uh, anyone would have ever had a chance to win Leinster College's A and B medals in the same year. So all a heap of Kilcormac lads. James Matt and Screeny, Breck and Kavanagh, uh, Alex Kavanagh, Lee Kavanagh, all those lads with Kilcormack and Ben Miller and uh, Owen Burke and a few more with Burr. So that'll be an interesting game tomorrow. Okay, or so I put I put Billy Drennan in as number one here, all the same, right? Uh, I'm thinking Paddy Doyle for, for Dublin might make a real impact this year. Even though Dublin have so many injuries, I think it's going to be tough for them to have a particularly strong year. Can right. I ask you? Can I, can I throw a question into the mix here, right? Yeah, yeah. This is a, a genuine question. Like, who will be able to look after themselves at senior inter county level? Like now, this year, who would survive in the shark tank that is Championship hurling as a young fella? And I think uh, Shane, I think Shane O'Brien physically will would will sort of definitely survive this year. And I think he'll thrive in time. Uh, I'd say Adam English would survive as well. Uh, Paddy Doyle, even though he's a bit leaner, and I definitely see him starting. That's the other thing. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, okay, so who, who would you want as number two here? I'd want Shane O'Brien fairly high up. Hmm. Okay, but I don't see him starting for, for Limerick at all this year. Yeah, okay, but he could still make a massive impact off the bench. Yeah, but like they could be winning some games by 15 points. He might come in and score four, but has he really kind of changed the game? Uh, okay, I, I understand where you're coming from, but you have to like the, the team or the, the squad that he's coming into is at a higher level than the rest. So, a byproduct of that is that he's at a higher level than the rest. Yeah, as but well. we said like uh, making an impact this year, like that they might be a better player or whatever, but will they make an impact this year because maybe they won't get the game time? I know you're saying that they might be up by 15 points or whatever, but it could also be a very tight game where he comes in and gets a score, and I'd rate that as high, if not higher than, would say, Billy Drennan starting and finishing the championship game and ended up with two from play. But they've got Peter Casey and Keane Lynch back in the forward line, you know, and they still won the All-Ireland last year. Where Where is a young lad going to fit into the mix? Well, like, where did Cotton O'Neill fit, fit in last year? There's always but that's, gonna... that, that's the thing, like, Cotton O'Neill is going to be ahead in the pecking order of these lads as well. Uh, now, the only well, thing is, if Aaron Galan isn't there, it does open up the door for Shane O'Brien, so I'm sort of, you know, fighting against my own point here now, all of a sudden. I have to have him in the five anyway. Okay, right. So, is there anyone that you'd have ahead of him? I haven't. I'll be straight with you now. I haven't seen enough of Paddy Doyle, so I, I I just haven't seen enough of him to to know uh to know how he'll go. You know how he'll go at that level. But he will. Well, it sounds will you like trust will me on play. that one? Will you trust yeah, me on that one? Yeah, but I, I I wouldn't have my two now. Okay, where where would you accept? Three, four ish. Okay, I'll put four. Um. Shane O'Brien then, because I think he'll play less than Paddy Doyle, I'd be more inclined to have him as number five. Here's one for you. Does Patrick Fitzgerald start for Watford? Um, Where? And head of who? The, the interesting uh, has one it, is... Desi Hutchinson? No. No, he's not going to play ahead of him, but like, you definitely could see the two of them playing inside, even though maybe at county level. It's, a, it's an interesting one. A lot of it comes back to what way does Davey play? Because if he plays with a sweeper... And you're playing two inside, and you need workers. Yeah, the two boys are workers, but you probably need. Do you need one big, one small? Almost. Do you need that? Do you need a Mikey Kiley and a Desi Hutchinson inside? Yeah, like I don't really see him start. I still think he can have an impact, and he'll be one of the first lads in. But um, yeah, like Ruben Holler, and I think is probably more likely to see significant game time out in the half line, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like he's he has a bit of flex, more flexibility, maybe. But, like, I would say Owen Downey or Sean Toomey would probably be a little bit further up in the pecking order here. Well, Owen Downey looks to have, in his two games so far, he looks to have nailed down that number three spot and he's kind of relegated his brother 
Rob to the substitute bench at the moment. Now that could change, but he does. Uh, uh, in, in the couple of games I've seen, he just looks like a bit of an old hand in there, to be honest. With you. He's got that m- real kind of miserable streak in him where he doesn't want to give anything away. God, you love a player being miserable, don't you? Oh, yeah. I was actually chatting to Drew Wiley the other day, um, who retired from Monaghan, and uh, I, I just love chatting like full-backs and corner-backs about like, how you have to have that miserable streak in you to, to want to do what a full-back and a corner-back has to do. Uh, let me see. I, I, I would definitely be having Patrick Fitzgerald in the top five and I'd probably have him in instead instead of John Campion. Wow. Your anti tip uh, bias. Well, no, 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 hold on a second. Is John Campion gonna start championship for Tipperary? Well, I'm wondering now because with the injuries and with Paddy Cadell gone and with uh Niall O'Mara out for a while longer, another option in the sort of middle of the field, mid late or whatever. I don't know. It's very hard to pick the Tipperary team at the moment. Just going through a few others. Uh, don't, don't, uh, so you have Dermot O'Dooling, not sure how much he'll play. You have Dunnick O'Dalek from Limerick. Again, not sure how much he's going to play. Um, just from, like, I'll put it to you this way. Just even from watching Barry Gunner, you know, regularly, what I've seen of Patrick Fitzgerald, uh, he'll, he'll play, he'll, he'll start senior championship this year at some stage. Definitely. Okay, would you be happy to go with this list then? I love the way, like, in the research document, you've called him Paddy Fitzgerald, who I've, which I've never referred to, no one has ever referred to him. Now you're calling him Pat Fitzgerald. And well, I, know I, have, I know it's just to fit it in, I know that. It is just to fit it in, so it doesn't mess all the formatting. Are you happy enough with that? Vinny in that order? Owen Downey, Pat Fitzgerald. I'd be happy enough with that, yeah. I'd be happy enough with that, yeah. Yeah, because I think Drennan's definitely going to start. I think Downey... You know, all signs are that he will start. Pat Fitzgerald will see significant game time. <laughs> I think Paddy Doyle, is, yeah, Pat. I think Paddy Doyle will definitely start, and Shane O'Brien will make a serious impact. Now, maybe Adam English, or you know, we have Michael McCarthy saying Kieran Joyce is still only twenty-one, but all ah, yeah. So yeah, well that's why he's outside. Yeah. Nominated for the Young Herder the year last year. Do you know what I mean? So like, he's you know, every he's well in the public consciousness at this stage. Yeah. Okay. So keep Fair the comments. List. Coming. Fair it list. is a fair list. Keep the comments coming Here's in. Here's one. I'll have, we'll have a little, like a two euro side bet here. So right. who who of the five do you think will have the biggest impact this year? And I know that's maybe hard to say, you know, tangible. What's an impact? But you give your two cents and I'll give mine. And we'll throw two, we'll throw two Bob on the line and we'll be, the, the fans, the spectators can be the jury at the end of the year. Yeah, I'd say Billy Drennan probably will because Kilkenny will get out of Leinster He'll he'll probably play every game, young player. Um, yeah, no, I'd say Billy Drennan. Yeah, I give the list. Pull up the pull up the list again. I'm yeah. gonna go. And, and by the way, Leinster is that bit handier than Munster, so it'd actually be tougher for Pat Fitzgerald, Patrick Fitzgerald <laughs> to make an impact than it you know potentially would be for Drennan or Owen Downey. Yeah, I'll go with Owen Downey. I'll go with Owen Downey. Yeah, because and it, God, he's going to be coming up against some of the big hitters, isn't he, this year? He sure is. That's that's yeah. a, like it's kind of early in the year. You don't necessarily know if he will be start. Whereas I think we're pretty confident that Drennan will see serious game time in the championship. 